Hey, what's up everyone? Diamondback Terrapins. And today we are doing a DIY. We're going to build a cat. Hopefully by the end of the video, your DIY cat will look something like this or possibly like this. Actually, no, today really is a DIY turtle egg incubator. Because let's say you have an emergency where you didn't know your turtle had eggs. Or maybe you did, but you did not have time to actually buy like a real incubator. So here are the items you will need. Not that many, because it's really simple. First, some kind of container. Well, I should say some kind of cooler. Uh, it can be styrofoam or plastic, doesn't really matter. Because those you can quick run out to the store, like Walmart or Target. Home Depot maybe, Lowe's, and get a cooler. Next, you're gonna need something that you're gonna put your egg container on in this container. You're going to need a aquarium water heater. And then of course, you just need whatever you're gonna incubate your eggs in. So how do we put this all together? So once you remove your cat, if you had one in like I did, just going to take whatever your item you're using to put the container on. You're going to take your container, fill it with, I use vermiculite, you, there's hatchrite. Some people do soil, but that's what you do. And you're just going to place it like that. You're going to fill the water all the way up to here so your container doesn't actually float. You're going to put your heater in the water. Make sure that obviously the water is higher than the heater so you don't actually break the heater. Then you're gonna set the heater to whatever temperature you want. Like 78 degrees is for male, 85 is female. In between, that's, that's uh, gonna give you mixed sexes for your turtles. Now you're gonna need a thermometer of some kind. Like I use a heat gun because I can quickly check the temperature of things because every aquarium heater is different. You might set it to 78 degrees. Maybe it overheats the water, especially in a small container like this, to like 85. Even with a real incubator, you just want something that you can check the temps, like this heats from the top. So you may set this to 86 and it might say that on the thermometer, but when you actually test the eggs, it will be like five degrees lower and obviously that is really important if you're trying to get an exact sex of the turtle you want. So now, let's take a look of it all set up. Okay, now let's open this up to see it all set up. As you can see, I'm just using the bricks. The water is filled up to the bricks and the containers are just setting on them. I have two set up. And, uh, you can see that I have it set in the 80s. And actually, these are incubated for male, but the, t the sex of a turtle is determined about halfway through incubation. So at 40 days, I actually raise the temperature up into the 80s to help the turtles develop faster. Because if you keep them at the cool temperature, they're gonna take longer hatch but once the sex is set I crank up the temperatures because I know these are going to be male they were incubated at a uh, 78 degrees now uh somewhere I don't know if you can see this see I had this heater set at 76 degrees it said there and you could tell the water was at 80 degrees. That's the importance of having a thermometer. Now, uh, I don't know if you quick saw that. Obviously this method works because you can see these three eggs are actually cracked open. These are three Southern painted turtles hatching out right now. But we'll take a closer look at those on the next video when they are out a little further and a little more interesting. So, simple enough. 
especially if you have the containers like these are from i believe arby's salads that's what i shipped my turtles in free bricks you usually can find bricks or stones just something to set it on you do not have to make this expensive these these styrofoam coolers were free only thing that i paid for was that water heater and you can get one that's cheap obviously you want to make sure that you can set the temperature of the heater so you can't go super cheap for those ones that are preset definitely need one that you can set so you can control the temperature but yeah easy enough guys so until next time